Hey, sir. Check, check. Hey, there I am. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. Welcome to the Grinder House. We've been doing this uh, five years, over 320 odd shows, uh, singer songwriter um, showcases. And tonight, you know what? Um, we've got an incredible show for you, but I want to give you a heads up on a couple of things. We are a listening room, so phones, if you put them on vibrate, please. Uh, keep a, voices to a minimum, certainly during uh, performance time. But it, enjoy yourself. Applaud, clap, sing along, stomp your foot, jump up and down, get up and dance. But we are a listening room, and people are here uh, to respect the artists and the work they do, as well as these dudes and gals up front. We've been waiting for this show for a long time, Jamie. Isn't yeah, we've it? tried. Like this is the second time we tried. I know it's yeah. really amazing. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you don't know, um, every last month of, the, of every Saturday, the last Saturday of the month. All right, Asa. Last Saturday month we do grounding around. Jamie hosts for us. He's been doing this for almost a year and a half. To almost. It's, yeah, Karen yeah, asked me today when was my year anniversary, and I said I think it passed during COVID. Yeah, it's done. You it passed during. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of things passed during COVID. Yeah, a lot of things did. And now COVID's passed. Yeah. Well, you, well, you would like to think so. Um, so I'm going to get this show on the road. Uh, we are on the uh, music pathways. We were designated an official location in 2018. For yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's kind of a big deal for us because it takes, uh, you have this whole form you got to fill out and you got to have to have been in business 10 years, some significant thing like Elvis eating a hamburger here or something had to happen. But I bypassed all that and I wrote a letter straight to the director of tourism. I said, look, here's what we did. And at the time we only had one show. It's called In the House. We broadcast it live on internet FM radio, which we still do. And it reaches 55 countries around the world. So we've got people in Australia, the UK. There's this one dude in China that's listening. Um, yeah. And, and He's I think always it, there, too. I think he always makes pottery. There. I don't yeah. know what exactly yeah. he does. but um, Origami pottery. He I loves think. American yeah. music. Yeah. And, and so we're really, really blessed to have been given the designation official location on the pathway. In Crossville, in Cumberland County, there's a total of four. So the Grinder House, the Palace Theater, the Cumberland uh, County Playhouse, and then uh, Aunt, um, Mandy Barnett was awarded an official location. They planted that, yeah, in the uh, courthouse lawn. So if, if you didn't know it, Cumberland County is a, is a music hub. And, and we're right here in the, nestled in between Knoxville and Nashville. It's really an incredible little spot. We love what we do. And I'm going to get off the horn, although you're going to hear me a little bit later. Jamie and I get to finally chit-chat while the show's going yeah, on. Yeah, we don't get to talk anymore. I know. You're so busy. And well, they put that, we do a three-camera shoot. If you all haven't seen it online, we stream this live, and uh, it's a three-camera shoot. <laughs> and usually I'm in the hall. We call it the Harry Potter studio. It's under these stairs. And uh, uh, I'm doing camera work. So tonight I get to be up here with, uh, with the crew, and I couldn't be more proud or honored to be with the people that we have up here tonight. It's awesome. I'm going to let Jamie introduce his guest he's brought with you from Nashville, and I'm going to get out of the way so y'all can hear the show. Everybody, Jamie Adamson. Jamie, take it. All right, man. I would probably just take off singing. That way I don't take up too much time talking. Most of y'all have heard this song before, and I'm going to get warmed up. And I'll talk more later on, but uh, I am very excited to get to introduce y'all these two people here sitting to my left tonight. But after after I sing this song, <laughs> I ain't got nothing up here, man. It's like this. Really? Somehow it got pulled out. It's okay. There it is, my bad. Got guitar. Like Thelma, Lou, and Barney Fife, 
Kiss is sweet in black and white June and Johnny Cash burned up our radio Hey, ain't it magic on that silver screen How the hero finds a perfect queen Yeah, and they go chasing forever Like they don't know about Juliet's and Romeo's I want to see where this goes I want to see how it ends you want us everything and i know i know that she thinks we just met she don't know yeah i'll keep trying to tell her somewhere between you show sure look nice and that first kiss and kiss good night i got a taste to just how sweet sweet might be your love can blow when you ain't looking it don't care about should or shouldn't it ain't waiting for the perfect time to fall I want to see where this goes Don't want to see how it ends You want us everything And I know, I know that she thinks we just met But she don't know Yeah, I'll keep trying to tell her Until I close my eyes and this love story ends I want to see where this goes There's pages that you turn and corners that you bend. For me, this girl's a book I want to read again and again and again. Yeah, I want to see where this goes. Don't want to see how it ends. You want to see everything, and I know, I know that she thinks we just met, but she don't know. Yeah, I'll keep trying to tell her. Until I close my eyes and this love story ends Yeah, till I close my eyes and this love story ends I want to see where this goes I want to see where this goes, yeah. yeah Thank you very much, thank you very much it's, it's, it's like riding a bicycle. You kind of got to get going and see what it's going to feel like and get that first one out of the way before you can go. <laughs> so so I, saw this on the, I saw this on the Internet. I watched somebody do this the other day. So on three, we're all going to, like, I'm going to say one, two, three, and we're all going to go. <gasps> and then I'm going to go four, and we're all going to go. <sighs> so y'all ready to do that? I'll say one, two, three. <gasps> four. <sighs> so, so the nerves are shook off. I hope y'all are all ready to perform for us. We came to see y'all tonight, and we are looking forward to seeing what y'all do. But uh, no, truthfully, I am so happy. I had Janelle booked. I think it was last year. It may have been the year before, right in that window when COVID hit. It was last year because you had the baby. Year, yeah. yeah. So, so Mr. Dill, for some reason, she decided to have a baby. <laughs> and uh, COVID came along, so she couldn't come. And same thing with Mr. Ryan over here, but... Janelle Arthur is one of the coolest voices no. yep. I know in Nashville, y'all. Country, real, to the bone. And I'm just going to give it up, Ms. Well, Janelle thank, Arthur here. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm happy to be here. I'm surrounded by such incredible voices right here, uh, such rich tones. Both of these guys right here, some of the best singers I have heard. So I'm, I'm just honored to be here. Thank you, Jamie, for asking me. And uh, I guess I'm going to play uh, my current single i do have a, a new single coming out after you know after this one but uh how many dolly parton fans do we have in the house yeah yeah so i'm a big dolly fan and um i actually had the blessing of recording a duet with her and so to pay tribute to her for you know singing this song with me i, I wanted to write a song all about her and how much we just love everything that she does. You know, Dolly's known for, you know, her big heart and her big heels and her big hair and her big, you know, other things that I won't say anything. But we all love Dolly for so many reasons and she's just such an incredible person. And so this song is all about Miss Dolly and how I think we could all used to be a little bit more like her. Are my lips too bright? 
Are my clothes too tight? Are my heels too high? I don't know. Oh, and if I tease my hair, put rhinestones everywhere, are people gonna stare? Maybe so. But what would Dolly do? Yeah, I'm just over here trying to take what God gave me and make it bigger. Yeah, I'm just trying to hang with her. No one's perfect, I know. But I'd say she's pretty close. So when I ask myself how I should be, I ask WWD. She take what she has and keep giving back. All while making you laugh with her quotes. Oh yeah, and if you're talking hate, she'll put you in your place. Yeah, and she'll do it with grace. Hey, everybody ought to go by. What would Dolly do? Yeah, I'm just over here trying to take what God gave me and make it bigger. Yeah, I'm just trying to hang with her. So when I ask myself how I should be, I ask W-W-Double-D. What would Dolly do, yeah? I'm just over here trying to take what God gave me and make it bigger. Yeah, I'm just trying to hang with her. No one's perfect, I know. But I'd say she's pretty dang close. So when I ask myself how I should be, I ask W-W-Double-D. Oh, when I ask myself how I should be, I ask W-W-Double-D. Yeah! Thank you. Now, I have to ask, so how did you come up with that hug? Well, it was really, it was about 2018, so I was starting to hear a lot of the What Would Dolly Do kind of stuff. It was kind of coming around, like on T-shirts and on pillows, and I was like, I really need to write a song about that. And then I was like, what if it's WWDD? Then I thought, oh, oh no, I gotta say <laughs> WWD. And so, yeah, actually, Brian was one of the first people I told about yep. having that sure hook. Not. So, sure not. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Thank so you. Cool. Wrote that with Brett Shiroki. So, it's good. All right. Well, so we're gonna move on down the line to the left here. A fella that some of us have started calling a young Ryan Larkins around Nashville, and I won't go into explaining all that, but. My best friend, Mr. Ryan Larkins, y'all. Give it up for him. Thank you so much. Well, it's so good to be here. Thank you so much, Jamie, for having me. Um, I've heard so many gr great things about this place, and it's living up to it so far, everything everybody's saying about it. So uh, this first song I'm going to start off with is a song that I wrote with a guy, Tony Martin. And uh, usually when I go in to write with somebody, I like to have a really good idea ready. And uh, this particular day, I didn't have a very good idea. And I was driving down the interstate, and usually I drive really, really slow. And uh, I was in the slow lane, and there was this guy in front of me in a Lincoln Town car, and uh, he was going slower than me. I thought, I'm gonna have to pass this guy. So I passed him, I looked over, and he was with his wife, looked like, and he, he had a grin just from ear to ear. He was so happy. And I had this idea, I want to love like a Lincoln. So we wrote this song. If you're looking for a guy like a truck Who can just pick you up Late at night when you're stuck Well, I ain't no truck If you're looking for a guy with some style Fast in a quarter mile, a lot of fun for a little while. Well, that ain't my style. No, no, 
That ain't my speed But girl, if you're thinking You might like a Lincoln You ain't gotta look too far I'm a steady rolling smooth ride Keep it in between the lines In it for the long haul Girl, if you are Looking for a love like a Lincoln Love like a Lincoln town car Here's the keys to my heart I'm more like a guy with the bench seat That's the kind you need Slide on over close to me I'm your guy with the bench seat Oh, sitting on gold Yeah, girl, if you're thinking You might like a Lincoln You ain't gotta look too far I'm a steady rolling smooth ride Keep it in between the lines In it for the long haul Girl, if you are Looking for a love like a Lincoln Love like a Lincoln town car Here's the keys to my heart Here's the keys to my Here's the keys to my Here's the keys to my yeah, y'all can sing along if you want. Here's a key to mine. Yeah. Here's a key to mine. Here's a key to mine. I'll sing. Sound good. Let's do it again. Here's a key to mine. Here's a key to mine. Here's a key to mine. Oh, one last time. Let's do it one more time. Here's a key to mine. Here's a key to mine. Here's a key to mine. I'm a steady rolling smooth ride Keep it in between the lines In it for the long haul Girl, if you are Looking for a love like a Lincoln Love like a Lincoln town car Here's the keys to my heart Yeah, thank you Man. So, so hopefully one day y'all might hear that on the radio. You can't never I'll tell. One of these days. One of these days. Man, I feel like this is more about Ryan and Janelle tonight, but I'm going to sing a couple songs, and then I might just sit down and listen. I don't know. No. I'm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I know most of us. Now, who all here has heard me sing? This, this would help my mind. Who all has heard me sing? So I am singing to some people that has not heard me sing, so that's good. So y'all haven't heard this song right here. I wrote this song on my way to the Grinder House like last year. And I'd stopped at the rest area at Duck River, just past Duck River coming this way. Seen this sign that says Made in Tennessee. And I thought, man, that would be a really good idea. And I ended up sitting down with uh, Hal O'Dell, which Hal has been here. Ralston Wells and Johnny Cook. And we wrote this song. And someday... Somebody from the state of Tennessee is going to be sitting in an audience somewhere, and they're going to hear it, and they're going to go, yeah. And, and I ain't going to have to drive a Prius anymore. But it gets a good gas mileage, Joe. Oh, yeah. Moon shining, moon pies, Bill Street, and the blues. The best drinking whiskey, three chords, and the truth. That grand old Opry and that old rhyme on stage Yeah, I tell you The best things in life here yeah, they Tennessee made From the mighty Mississippi To the Gatlinburg Hills Big cities and neon Farm towns and fields We come together as a volunteer state yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made. Yeah, dolly and honky tonk, six strings and songs. 
Graceland and Rocky Top and the Tennessee Walls That music rub magic and hearing that twang hang, hang. Lord, the best things in life here yeah, they Tennessee made From the mighty Mississippi to the Gatlinburg Hills Big cities, big neon, farm towns and fields We come together as a volunteer state Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made Yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made yeah, from our family and friends Living wild, living free Lord, we're made in Tennessee From the mighty Mississippi To the Gatlinburg Hills Big cities, big neon Farm towns and fields We come together as a volunteer state yeah, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made Lord, we're strong, we're proud, we're Tennessee made yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank so you. good. I love it. I love it. Well, I had the uh, blessing of getting a random call one time. It was a, from a casting director. And she was wanting me to be the lead role in this movie. And I thought, what in the world? Um, I was really pursuing my, my singing and songwriting. I was about to sign my first publishing deal. And uh, I got this call from this woman. And she said, you know, we'd really like for you to be in this movie. I said, well, I really pr appreciate the offer. Um, I'm going to need to probably look at the script and make sure that it's, you know, something that I want, that I feel comfortable doing, mostly for my values. And um, I wanted to look at it and... And she said, oh, yeah, she said, we'll uh, send the script to you. She said, but, you know, if you do end up taking this role, she said, uh, Dina Carter that sang the song Strawberry Wine in the 90s, she said she would actually play your mom in the movie. So I thought, well, I'm probably going to end up doing this. So <laughs> it didn't take very long. I, I read the script, and I just um, was very, I was just excited to be a part of something with Dina and also Neil McCoy's in the movie. <clears throat> and uh, I ended up, my, it was weird. The title of the movie was completely different. It was called Take Two for Faith. And um, it was weird because I was reading the script and my character started saying all these exact same lines that were already in, already in a song I had written about eight months before that. So I thought, I've, I'm supposed to sing this song in this movie. And then they ended up changing the name of the movie to the title of this song. And it's called Running for My Roots. So... Got my keys loaded down my stuff Hugged my daddy, kissed my mama One last turn down that gravel road Passed the church at the caution light Drove by the hometown sign But I didn't plan to come back soon All I ever wanted was to be Crazy weekends, all nighters trying to fit in. I couldn't hear my conscience anymore. I forgot who I believed in. The new me just wasn't me, and I started to miss the girl I was before. 
Well, I guess the grass ain't always greener. Where my feet left for the red, I thought I had the world in my hands. I live on love, knew enough to never look back again. I thought I was ready to fly, but I was just chasing the wind. What I want and who I so much and y'all gotta see the movie for sure it, it, it really is awesome <laughs> thanks thank you it's running called running my from my roots <laughs> there's no g on the end of running though it's like how, how i say it how you say it running you know yeah. love it love thanks. it everybody having fun out there all right this next song that i'm gonna do um uh, is about my next door neighbor <laughs> I got this little kid, and uh, I've told this story a bunch, but he's, he's kind of like Dennis the Menace, and he'll come over to my house, which uh, my wife and I, we have three kids of our own, and it's, it's hard sometimes, you know, and, and this kid, he shows up like at the worst possible times, and uh, like we'll be eating dinner sometimes, and like we'll look up, and he'll be looking right in through the window, and uh, it's, sometimes it's kind of weird. But uh, but one day he, uh, I'd kind of had enough. He he was just really getting on my nerves that week, and he threw his boomerang on my roof, and uh, it was like the last straw, you know. So I went in to write a song with Connie Harrington and uh, Tim Nichols, and I was telling him about this kid, and Connie. She said, Ryan, that kid is there for a reason, and he's not just learning something from you, but you're learning something from him. And so uh, we wrote this song, it's called Here for a Reason. I said, you got a knock, you can't just walk into my three foot four little neighbor kid. Always touching everything with sticky fingers, windows, walls, refrigerator. And I know his mom works all the time and his daddy's gone, so I'm the guy. But man, he sure does push my buttons, always wanting something. And sometimes I don't know if it's me or it's him doing the teaching. But I've been thinking maybe he's here for a reason Saturday morning as soon as I woke up opened the door and there he was said his boomerang was on my roof didn't come back like it was supposed to and 
And I thought to myself, climbing that ladder, got my own kids to look after. I tossed it down, said, what do you say? He smiled, said thanks, and went off to play. And sometimes I don't know if it's me or it's him doing the teaching. But I've been thinking maybe he's here for a reason. La, la, la. Somebody at the door, him again. He said, I knocked, I didn't just walk in. Big U-Haul truck there behind him. I could tell that he'd been crying. And that's one long hug I'll never forget. He looked back once and I'll admit. Sometimes I don't know if it's me or it's him doing the teaching. Yeah, sometimes I don't know if it's me or it's him doing the teaching. But I've been thinking maybe I'm here for a reason. Y'all having a good time out there? It's real easy. Okay. Yeah. So see, I got the hard chair tonight because I got to follow these two. It's just uh, I say this every time I, I I write with them or write with them, play on a stage with them, or Ryan or Janelle. It's like uh, you sit here and you listen to a song and you think, what in the heck am I gonna sing? Oh. That will back that up. But it's like this is the level of songs you get. But uh, that's just so good, man. So good. So tonight. good. I've been looking forward to this. But uh, I wrote this song all by myself. Uh, you wrote the song all by myself? I, I wrote this song all by myself. Yeah, that's all by myself. I did. I, no, I wish I would have wrote that song. But I wrote this one here all by myself. And uh, I think here for long I'm, I'm, I'm going to record this one. I've had a couple of people tell me I should. And it's just because it's, it's my song. It ain't for anybody else. But uh, it's called Like My Daddy Does. Handed him a whiskey. That's where it all began. Started in Montana, ended up in Afghanistan. He was fighting for his country. The red, the white, and the blue. Just doing what his daddy done. He said he'd take a drive down a back road Just to see what he might find Cause you, you never take advantage What another man leaves behind You always plan your exits, boy And you'll never be last in line and You'll do it like my daddy done My daddy laid brick down in Alabama You know he fished that dog river drive Preached down fire and brimstone Said a man shouldn't be afraid to cry Said every woman on God's green earth Deserves to know real love Well he never drank that whiskey Just touched the rim a time or two he said the smell of it reminded him of things he shouldn't do. And he slowly slid that glass out of reach. He said there's some things a man can't teach. He 
But my daddy lay break down in Alabama. You know, he fished that dog every dry. Breached down fire and brimstone. Said a man shouldn't be afraid to cry. Said every woman on God's green earth deserves to know real love. I think I'll take a drive down a back road just to see what I can find. Cause you never take advantage of what another man leaves behind. You always plan your exits for and you'll never be last in line. You'll do it like my daddy done. Just like my daddy done. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. That's awesome, man. All right, that's so good. I love that one, Jamie. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're having a love fest up here. We just love each other's songs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, for sure. You have to sit and listen to everybody's stuff a lot, though. You really I do. I it's, mean, it's... Yeah. I just really am grateful to uh, know people like these two guys right here and and you know uh i'm inspired by by these guys so i'm i'm gonna do a, a song that i wrote a couple years ago i've never played it out so uh just bear with me but um this is one that i don't even know really how to set this song up i, I i'm a big i guess whenever i'm looking for inspiration or looking for a hook or sometimes if i'm going into a right like or whatever i sometimes i'll i'll go through like some of the things that that I've said or the things that I see it like a quote on the internet and I go how can I twist that how can I you know sort of do my own thing with that type of quote and like flip it and um yeah it's just I hope you'll like it I'm, I'm not even going to tell you the title of it I think you you might figure it out <laughs> I might tune up a little bit y'all talk <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk in tune at the same well, time. I, I will say this, the the your front porch song, and I cannot remember the name of it. Front porch, porch swing. swing. I'm gonna play that one later. Yeah, I want you to do that. And that's that's Thank my you. favorite Janelle Arthur song. So. So Thank good. you so much. Yeah, that one is uh, I'll sing it a little bit later. That that one's about my grandmother's front porch swing. And uh, I grew up sitting on the front porch all the time with her and she would sing songs with me and teach me songs, but um, this one is not about that. So She said, Mama, you should see the way he looks in me Yeah, he's the one I know he said he loves me, that he's done with her and he's gonna leave Yeah, he ain't happy at home Mama said, girl, you're playing with fire Didn't you learn nothing from that Bible? He could send you an angel He can send you a sign But the Lord don't send no miracle While you're dancing on the dark side he can send you straight to the devil or take you to the promised land. But God don't send you no married man. She said, Mama, you don't understand where we're meant to be. He said, I'll make him feel alive. It's electric, yeah, that crazy magic chemistry It could only be divine Mama said, girl, you believe in a lie Didn't you learn nothing from that Bible? He could send you an angel He can send you a sign But the Lord don't send a miracle While you're dancing on the dark side he can send you straight to the devil Or take you to the promised land Oh, but God don't send you no married man God don't send you no married man Mama 
said, baby, I know that you love him, but your soulmate ain't somebody's husband. He can send you an angel, he can send you a sign, but the Lord don't send no miracle while you're dancing on the dark side. He can send you straight to the devil or take you to the promised land. But God don't send you no married man. Send you no married man. God don't send you no married man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I've never heard that. That is that's really I pray Thank he you. don't send me no married man. <laughs> He ain't going to send you no married man. <laughs> it's kind of a, I've got a really good friend who I grew up with. And uh, speaking of married men, he just got married. Uh, right. Chad, Chad Meyer, <laughs> the man out All there. Right. It's good to Congrats. see you, brother. His, his new bride out there. So just wanted to say that. Uh, does anybody out there drive a pickup truck? Okay. Okay. Well, I'll do this song for y'all. Uh, I, I wrote this song with a guy, Monty Criswell and Jesse Alexander, and I walked into the room that particular day, and Monty had seen this picture of a pickup truck on Facebook, and in the back of it, there was a casket, and he said, I want my last ride in a truck. We got to write that Woo! today, so that's oh, what yeah. we wrote. Hope y'all like it. One day I'm going to run out of time on the clock They're going to lay this good old boy in an old pine box And on the day that they do Don't put me in a tie, don't dress me in a suit Give me old Levi And these been around worn out boots Drive me around town in a two-tone Chevy The dust from the back roads, mud from the levee A long line of headlights, running down red lights Country on the alpines, crank it on up And hey y'all, when you're leaving that white church Please don't slide me in a black curve Send me off in style when you say goodbye I want my last ride in a truck Roll me to the county line where the, sorry, I messed that up. Roll me to the little white house where I was raised. Then won't you four-wheel drive me past the river where I was saved. Take a picture of me and my buddies on the dash sticker. No fear sticker on the window in the back. Take your time. Go on, burn up all that gas Drive me around town in a two-tone Chevy With dust from the back roads, mud from the leather Long line of headlights, running down red lights Country on the alpines, crank it on up now, hey y'all, when you're leaving that white church Please don't slide me in a black purse Send me off in style when you say goodbye Ride in a truck Man, it's gonna be sight For miles and miles I bet it makes everybody smile When you drive me around town In a two-tone Chevy With dust from the back roads Mud from the levee Long line of headlights Running them red lights Country on the alpines Crank it on up Hey, y'all Leaving that white shirt, please don't slide me in a black purse. Send me off in style when you say goodbye. Yeah, one last time, hammer down and let her fly. I want my last.
last ride in a truck. I want my last ride in a truck. Yeah, thank you. Who in here loves Christmas? I know somebody asked earlier. Y'all, y'all found my Christmas socks I have on. I wear them all the time. What'd all you right. say, Greg? Humbug. No, oh, man. We got a Christmas. Scrooge out there. Christmas is the best time of the year. Yeah. <laughs> so, if I can remember this song. It's got a lot of words in it, but uh, me and me and Miss Janelle wrote this. I uh, had this idea, and I brought it to her, and she was like, yeah. She actually said, oh, that's, that's cool, but... Uh, I did a little guitar vocal here a while back, and I'll try to do some more with it maybe, but uh, this is the only Christmas song I've ever written, and I've tried to write several, but uh, this is my favorite one, and it's just called Santa Claus. No, we've never seen a hat Bring the snowman to life No, but that doesn't mean we won't try it No, we've never seen a reindeer Flying through the air But we're both pretty sure they've been flying We may never see the sleigh that holds a bag with all the bells Or meet an elf short with big pointy ears Oh, but just because you've never heard a ho 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 from the roof Doesn't mean that his story isn't true so if we all believed in Santa Claus, we'd all have Christmas cheer. The magic in the air would be enough to last all the year. Oh, I can tell you I believe we'd all be better off if we just believe in... Ooh, I'm playing that wrong, Santa Claus. So break out all your happy And them green old ugly sweaters Mmm, -hmm. candied canes and snowy lanes Grandma's out cinnamon and apple ciders Cause Christmas time is all year round It's not about one day Oh, and if you believe in anything Please hear me when I say if we'd all believe in Santa Claus, we'd all have Christmas cheer. Yes, the magic in the air would be enough to last all year. No, I can tell you I believe we'd all be better off if we just believe in Santa Claus. Yeah, me I too. am ready for Christmas. I wish I could have played that a whole lot better, but uh, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm always ready for Christmas, like 24-7. Yeah. Humbug. <laughs> we say, we say bah humbug to that. Um, I'm going to do a song that is uh, one of my singles that I've released within the last few years. And I wrote it with Jen Stegall and Brian Mayer. And Jen uh, produced this song that's available online. And... Um, uh, her dad is the famous Keith Stegall. He produced a lot of, uh, yeah, George Jones and 
uh, Alan Jackson. He produced a lot for them. And um, Jen is incredible. And, and she had this idea of, um, I can find my own white horse. And it's really just uh, having the strength to just take life, you know, into your own hands and not dependent on outside forces to create your happiness, you know. Only you can really do that. So that's what it's about. It's called White Horse. I grew up believing in fairy tales Just like all the other girls did And I've lived long enough now To know Prince Charming ain't the ways who he says he is Ooh, if happy ever after is the only thing I'm after I can find my own white horse Don't need no one to save my day I can find my own white horse And ride away, ride away, ride away yeah, yeah. Once upon a time True love's kiss was everything that I was waiting for. Ooh, so I kissed a frog or two and I left a glass shoe, but he can keep it. I don't need it anymore. Yeah, cause I can find my own white horse. Don't need no one to say. So good. I love that song. Um, this next song I'm going to do is a song that I wrote about my wife. Uh, we've been married for 14 years this year. And uh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, one time I was working this job that I really didn't like. And I was, uh, I was working at this swimming pool company. I was delivering chemicals. And uh, it was something I really didn't want to do. And I kind of stopped playing music for a little while. And uh, she encouraged me one day. I'd, I'd come in, and I was really depressed. And she said, you need to go in tomorrow, and you need to quit your job. We'll just take a step of faith, and it's all going to be fine. And I said, there's no way. There's no way I can do that. But she talked me into doing it. And uh, so I wrote this song about her. This is called The Fence. One day I'd had enough My heart can only take so much I'm a fix a problem kind of man Took matters into my own hands Loaded up my truck with two by fours Dug the holes and 
poured the concrete one nail for every tear my heart was safe in here it was built for the long haul just as sturdy as it was tall no way out no way around no one was gonna get to me but that fence round my heart kept my world pretty dark kept the loneliness in wasn't no way to live but girl you got close enough to see a way through my tough when i had given up you had faith i built a fence you built a gate No, you weren't scared at all. Your touch was a wrecking ball. My stubborn wasn't smart as you. You knew just what to do. Now I see what I was missing out there on the other side. Yeah, that fence round my heart kept my world pretty dark kept the loneliness in wasn't no way to live but girl you got close enough to see a way through my tough when i had given up you had faith i built a fence you built a gate love poured in and pretty soon I won't remember when that fence round my heart kept my world pretty dark kept the loneliness in wasn't no way to live but girl you got close enough to see a way through my tough when I had given up you had faith I built a fence you built a gate I built a fence you built a gate thank you So they, there's a few of y'all here I know have uh, probably seen Mr. Jason Grove a couple times. He just texted me, said, I'm watching y'all live. So uh, so I'm going to do a song I wrote with Mr. Grove. I'm sure at some point, maybe next year, he'll travel back to Crossville with me. Um, he's been writing like album after album. He's, he's uh, set this goal to write five different kinds of albums. And he's into the third one right now. He's like just like, Thinking songs crazy. Wow. But uh, Jason sent me this idea while I was down in Alabama a few years back, but this is called Sounds Like Heaven. And um, I would really like to believe that all these people in this song are in heaven because uh, I do hope to go there myself and I hope to someday uh, maybe sing this song for these folks. I don't know, you can't ever tell. I bid haggards up there whistling on freight train that old Cadillac and Hank got back in session and gas is probably stomping out the footlights well, that's one way that I can picture heaven it seems like today everybody raves about the music Seeing pop songs passed off as down home the lot. Well, I'm sure that all their hearts are in the right place. But I sure do miss those good old country songs. And I bet Conway's up there singing. Hello, darling. John said, step right up. 
Come on in. Oh, Wayland's probably rambling like the old days. Arden paycheck singing about an old violin. Still alive despite its disposition. The good old country music that we love so well. Some might say country's gone to hell. Mm, to me, it sounds like heaven. Sounds like heaven. Charlie's fiddle scared the hell out of the devil We got him driving Diffy round as a pickup man And Patsy got her closer walk with Jesus And there's yesterdays with wine and George again I bet Conway's up there singing Hello, darling John said, step right up, come on in. Wayland's probably rambling like the old days. Arden paycheck singing about an old violin. Mm -hmm. Still alive despite his disposition. More that good old country music. We all love so well Some might say country's gone on to hell mm, yeah, To me it sounds like heaven Sounds like heaven Well the circle be unbroken, Lord, by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I bid haggards up there whistling on a freight train. Yeah, Jamie. Thank you very much. So good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So good. Love it. Wow. I, you know what? I, I, I'm just gonna cut in because we're we're bound halfway through, and I I hate that, but. Um, <laughs> I got to tell you, 300, over 300 shows, and I'm looking at these three people up here, and the talent that walked into this room tonight, it just blows me away. I got goosebumps on every song. Y'all, yeah. you're tearing it up, and Thank you. I couldn't be more honored than to have you on this stage and entertaining these people, and it, it brings tears to my eyes. Y'all are awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much thank for what you, you so do. Thank you so much. And, and y'all, thank you for coming out and supporting live music. It blows me away. And I'm going to turn it back over to y'all so they can hear you instead of me over here getting all watery-eyed and everything. Thank you all so much. No, man, the Grinder House is a special place. You ain't got to quit talking. I just wanted to say that. You ain't got to quit. But uh, the Grinder House, man, Asa, I had moved. I'd, I was in Alabama. I'd been living in Nashville for almost 20 years and moved back to Alabama it took me moving to Alabama to find him in Tennessee. How that happened, I don't know, but I moved back to Tennessee, and I'm sitting on my front, well, ain't my front porch, my, uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law's front porch in Lebanon, because I was living in an RV behind my mother-in-law's at the time. And I get a call from this man, and I had emailed him like a year and a half earlier. He said, I don't know if you're still interested in playing. And I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I'll play anywhere. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but and that's how that happened. But this this is absolutely my favorite place to come to. Period. Yeah, so it's awesome, and I love y'all for coming too. 
Because I know this, we got some repeaters. I don't know everybody's name. I just, if you come back more than once, I just call you a repeater. But uh, it's easier to say that. But, but this is awesome. Yeah, I, I know a lot of the faces. I don't know all of the names, but I'm terrible with names. I'm lucky to sit here and remember lyrics the way I do. <laughs> I don't know how. Because I think since last week, I've wrote five songs. And just since last week, and I know they write all the time, too. And it's like you, you get to thinking... What was that line? And it's coming. It's, it's about six lines away, and you're thinking, what is that line? Oh, my God, what is that line? Yep. And your head is start racing, and then when you get to it, it's not idea. there sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> it comes out before you even think of it. Yeah, and it can do that, too. <laughs> but uh, so th this is truly, this is a lot of fun. The Grinder House is awesome. Jamie, yeah. thank you so much, and thank you all for being here. I do, these, all these, you know, the writing community it's not all that big. And, and when you get writers of this caliber in one room, let me tell you something. I was talking to Ryan earlier. It's, it's tight. You know, you don't have BS words thrown in there or phrases. It's, not, it's a story, and it goes from beginning, middle, and end. And I love everything you do. Y'all just blow me away. And be, just understand, this is some of the top talent in Nashville right now sitting on this stage. Absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt, right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I want to remind everybody there is a tip jar up here. You know, it's funny. I tell this quick story. We started charging tickets, and I took the tip jar away because I thought, okay, that's just not right to ask for a tip jar while we charge people tickets. And our guests asked for us to put it back up. So it's there wow. for that reason, y'all. You want to drop some money in that jar? <laughs> They got, the, they got what they got paid for y'all being here from the, the box office, but help them out. It, life is a bear out there. Um, and these guys, this is their profession. You know, I started telling people this a while ago. I worked at, for 35 years, I worked in the engineering field. Y'all, this is your life. This is your career. That was my career. So, you know what? Sitting and writing, it sounds like, oh, yeah, that's sitting there. Sitting there, right? It's work, man. It's work. It's work every day. Their observations, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. So, so just remember that this isn't just Thank a fluke you. that they come up here and sing this. Yeah, their talent is all get out, but they work at what they do. They rehearse. They do all that stuff. Sweet. She has a question. Yeah. The song that you just sang, "Will the yeah. Circle Be Unbroken," was yeah. sang at my great grandmother's funeral uh -huh. by Mom Maybell Carter. Yeah. Um, and actually, it was a cappella because at Mount Vernon United Methodist Church, oh, wow. in what used to be called Poor Valley, which is now A.P. Carter Fold, which is now a music venue similar to this place, as I've shared yeah. with my dear friends. Wow. Um, it was an absolutely beautiful, um, lovely, sad time. But um, Mama Bell, uh, that lived there in Poor Valley, the A.P. Carter Fold, was also my family. Cool, wow. cool. So that song brings tears, but joy. That's one of my favorites. Wow. Wow. It had to go at the end of that song Absolutely when me beautiful. and Jason wrote it. Thank you so much. you welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, I've talked enough. <laughs> Y'all play as long as you want. Man, I will say this. If anybody else has a question, because me and yeah. Asa have talked yeah. about this, y'all yeah. welcome to come up and take the mic and ask Janelle or Ryan a question if y'all want to. Feel free. Put them on Anybody. the spot, man. Put, it, put them on the spot. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put them right? on the spot. If anybody's got a question, y'all feel free. This is the time. Go, just yell. Dun, 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 just yell. Dun, we can dun, hear dun, you. We're going to yeah. go to the... Watch. <laughs> what, do we, we have got... a question? Thank no, you. see? No, we don't have a question. Well, we'll you ain't got to pay for the mic. You can come yeah. up and ask a question yeah. for free. Yeah. <laughs> but um, make them turn red. That's what yeah. I got to say. That, that's why they're on this stage, man. They love it. <laughs> Y'all, thank you so much. I'll let you back at it. Thank you so much. Well, Ms. I am excited. I am excited to play this next one. Go ahead, Jamie. No, I was just going to say, Miss Janelle Arthur, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this song is, um, I've only played it one other time on stage, but it's my husband's favorite, uh, one of my husband's favorite songs of mine. And uh, it's kind of funny that it is because he also said, just don't ever play it when I'm in the audience. <laughs> I, trust me, it'll happen at some point. He'll be in the audience. It's fine. He loves this song, but it's really, a, it's a song I wrote about being at home all day, just kind of having to do the laundry and the dishes and sweeping the floor and mopping the floor. Does anybody have to do that kind of stuff on a daily basis? You know what it's like. And when it's your responsibility, and so I, I, my back was killing me, and I said, 
I said, this, today, uh, I said, he better not walk in here and say, what'd you do all day? You know, as if I've sat there and painted my fingernails all day or something. So I, uh, <laughs> he's, what'd you do all day? And um, so, yeah, I wrote this about it. But I'm going to have y'all sing along with me, okay? I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to go. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. Sing it with me. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. You got it. Oh, my back is tired from getting clothes out the dryer and keeping this floor clean. Hey, I do the dishes. And soon as I finish, there's more dirty laundry. Oh, I know you're the man and can't understand when you're out working nine to five. Oh, but when you walk in from being where you've been, let me give you some advice for your sake. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. That's right. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. Because I'll tell you, I picked up your shoes because you refused to put them in the closet. Yeah, thanks to me, you didn't lose that receipt Cause I found it in your pocket Yeah, I know you're a man and can't understand Cause you're just trying to provide Oh, but when you walk in from being where you've been If you want to stay alive, I'll tell you, babe Don't say what you do all day Don't say what you do all day Don't even think about it Don't say what you do all day Don't say what you do all day I guess you expect for me to hug your neck And greet you with the dinner plate Oh, but if you want attention Then you better mention All the little things you appreciate don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. Oh, they say now, boys, don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. That's right. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. Yeah, one more. Don't say what you do all day. Don't say what you do all day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I gotta keep it fun now. I gotta do a fun one. Don't y'all think? Y'all good with that? Fun, huh? Yeah, I'll do a fun one. Is yeah. that cool? This was called Everything Better. Crackers in my chili Perfect road trip And add a little willy And we're on the road again And you take it over the top Yeah, girl, you make Memphis Feel like Malibu It's already good Then add a little you And food tastes better Day gets better Ain't no kind of music like the kind we make together, baby. You make everything better. Even happy didn't know you could make it happy as can be. Yeah, you. Just happy you make everything better with me. 
sweater, throw it on the bed. Mom, but whatever, then you put it on. Now I'll never throw it away. If I were a cake, you'd be the ice and love the way you decorate it. Anyway, you slice it, baby, you make everything better. Even happy didn't know you could make it happy as can be. Yeah. to say <laughs> yeah you can't shut me up uh the, here's the other thing man i don't care who you are you walk in this door tonight you're walking out smiling oh yeah, yeah the the <laughs> the magic that music has in every one of our lives we've all kind of taken to a level of of uh well for granted but it because it's everywhere it's everywhere that we are it, it, it's it's so available and so free but it is so integral to all of us. And what y'all are doing, you're putting smiles on people's faces. They're going to forget about what's going on out there. And they're going to leave here happy. And I can't thank you enough for that. So That's the goal. That's the goal. Oh, no, man. No, 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 no. That, that, the, I, I, I just want to say thank you again. Y'all are awesome. I had... I'll think of something else to say. I know I'll interrupt you. Jamie Just keep again. the microphone. Just, Just well, I got a trip hazard it down here. I can't, it's a trip hazard. I can't do it. Well, it is that. It is that. Anyway, y'all, listen. Enjoy these Thank folks, you, man. Sir. And Thank we're going to so have them back. Don't you worry. Um, anyway, Jamie, take it away, man, before I man. get stupid. So I think there's a few people here have ordered it. He ordered one. But uh, is there any beer lovers in the house? Just straight up beer loving, chugging beer. I mean, comp them on the top, make them foam. Beer loving. That's what I used to do with my buddies. We'd stand out in dirt pit and everybody be standing there with a beer bottle and pay him not not paying attention and hit your bottle on top of his bottle and it'll just go look like a. Look like a volcano, but uh, I, I would not advise trying that inside the house or inside the venue tonight. It will make a mess. But this song is called Beer. It was around before Jesus, it's made of amber waves of grain. It's brewed a hundred different ways. You know it by four letter name. Gives the ice cold courage of a hundred grown men. Makes that little bitty feller in a corner up stand about six foot ten. Yeah, beer. You can buy it in a can or a keg or a bottle. Beer. You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel. Comes by sixes, twelves, twenty-fours. You can drink them by ones, twos and one more. Beer. You can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl. Beer. 
It's a drink, drink, drunk kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a going in a cooler where I come from. Beer. It feels good in my hand. When I get it out the icebox, it sounds cute like a kiss from a pretty little girl. When the top pops, yeah, beer. You can buy it in a can or keg or bottle, beer. You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel. Comes by sixes, twelves, twenty fours. You can drink them by ones and twos and one more, beer. You can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl, beer. It's a drink, drink, drunk, kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a going in a cooler where I come from, beer. They turn a room full of folks into a room full of friends. Art, all you got to do is, yeah, take one down, pass it around, 99. Bottles of beer on the wall Beer You can buy it in a can or cake or bottle Beer You can drink it out of glass, out of cup or funnel Comes by sixes, twelves, twenty-fours You can drink them by ones, twos and one mores Beer You can drink it in a bar on a stool with a girl Beer it's a drink, drink, drunk, kind of drinking little world. Some call it hooch, some call it suds. It's a coin in a cooler where I come from. Beer. Beer. I, I told you I think it's, I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> You're good. Y'all. This is what's really cool about what I, I, I see every Saturday night. These, these folks are all doing original music. And when you can sit here and not realize that that's what's going on, you've done an incredible job. Your writing, again, is really tight. Right? Thank you. I mean, you, this, is, this is phenomenal when, when this comes together like this, man. When, when, <laughs> when you don't know that this isn't an original song. You've, t you've told that story, and you've touched us all. And, I, again, you, it's, it's just phenomenal, and I'm blessed to have you all here. Man, we're blessed to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Blessed to Thank be here. Have at it. I'll stop. I promise I'm leaving. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so I am now I'm going to sing the song about my grandmother's front porch swing. Man, I love it. I'm feeling that one now. I love that song. And, uh... I just, um, I grew up really close. I've, I've always been close with my family, and we all lived on the same property, sort of. And I, so I lived right down the hill from my grandmother, from my aunt and uncle, from my cousin. And so I would run up the hill almost every day to my grandmother's house. And I would sit on the porch swing and swing and talk, you know, talk with her. And she would teach me little songs, and, and we would harmonize together. I'd make her sing harmony with me, and then I'd make uh, her let me sing harmony with her. And... That was in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Y'all know where Oliver Springs is, surely. We're not too far from there. Um, yeah, so I'm from Oliver Springs originally, but I, I lived in Pigeon Forge for many years singing there. So, um, But when I was at home, I was always up at my grandmother's house off and on. So, um, th Mainly this song is about how I wish that I could see life through those same eyes again. The eyes that I had when I didn't have anything to worry about. No bills to pay. and uh, Yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, I Preacher. wish I could see the world through those eyes again. And uh, that's really what it's about. And uh, it's called Front Porch Swing. Ooh. Ooh. I still hear those old wind chimes, the smell of grandma's homemade pie. Singing Amazing Grace Back when Grandpa had his health And every day I'd hear that church bell I still 
still remember the day they took it down when life made sense and worry wasn't on my mind innocence was in the air and my heart was blind sitting on the front porch swing i'd stay for hours if mom would let me singing jesus loves me this i know my safe place was home now i'm years and miles away and some days i wish life could be just the way it seemed from that front porch sweet it ain't always like we planned Real life sets on in And you realize daddy ain't Superman Seasons only last so long And just like that, love is gone And sadly, you never see the world the same When you're young, you can't grow up fast enough well, now that I'm here, well, I can't stop wishing that I was sitting on the front porch swing. I'd stay for hours if mom would let me singing, Jesus loves me. This I know my safe place was home. Now I'm years and miles away, and some days I wish life could be just the way it seemed. From that front porch swing Well, I know it's just some wood and some chains But gold and silver could never even pay No, I'd never trade Sitting on the front porch swing Stay for hours if mom would let me Singing Jesus loves me Oh, I know my safe place was home Now I'm years and miles away And some days I wish life could be Just the way it seemed Oh, I wish life was still the way it seemed From that front porch Sweet. And on the swing, this is the song my grandmother would sing with me. Swing, oh, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Sweet. That's right. I think that's my favorite. My Thank favorite. You. I love that song Thank so much. You. Yes. Um, this next song that I'm going to do is uh, is one that I wrote with Bill Anderson and Bobby Tomberlin. And uh, I was writing with those guys one day, which, first of all, I was scared to death. I walked in, and uh, <laughs> Bill Anderson is one of my heroes, just one of the, yeah, one of the greatest songwriters in country music history. And... Uh, so we started working on this song. I had this idea about questions that we have throughout life and questions that we have for God, you know, when we get to heaven. And uh, Bill had just lost somebody that he really loved, that he was really close to. And so we were about halfway done writing the song, and he just started crying. And he said, man, I just can't write this song today. It's hitting a little bit too close to home. And uh, so I, we started talking about it, and... Uh, I said, you know, I think 
someday it'll all make sense. And he looked up and he said, that's the song that I want to write today. Someday it'll all make sense. Wow. So uh, we wrote that song. And then like a week later, we had this big tornado come through Nashville. And it was very devastating. And so Bill played the Opry. And he actually played this song on the Opry. And that was really awesome. And uh, he told me he was going to record this song. And I thought, that's a dream. That's incredible. I can't believe Bill Anderson is going to record the song. So he recorded it, and I went into my publisher's office one day, and he said, Ryan, I have something to play for you. And I'd had like a, a few days in a row where I, I was kind of struggling. I hadn't written any good songs that week. He called me into his office, so I walked in, and he played me this song and uh, got through the first verse, and Bill... He sounded so good. I was like, this is so good. This is great. And then uh, the second verse comes in, and it was Dolly Parton singing on that song. So <laughs> this song was recorded by Bill Anderson and Dolly Parton. And uh, yeah. The very first cut as a songwriter, which is kind of crazy. And uh, wow. the song was. Uh, released like the music video was on good morning america a couple weeks ago so look it up if you want to it's called someday it'll all make sense i've stared at the heavens my heart full of anger so mad I was shaking my fist But there in the darkness I heard a voice soft and tender Saying someday it'll all make sense Right now I have questions Without any answers my faith's out there riding the fence I have to believe in what I can't see Someday it'll all make sense Someday the picture will come into focus We'll see it all plain and clear And we'll come together In the place He has for us As the pain and the hurt disappear Someday we'll laugh at These roads that we've traveled I am completely convinced that hope never dies or goes out of fashion. Someday it'll all make sense. Someday the picture will come into focus. We'll see it all plain and clear And we'll come together In the place He has for us As the pain and the hurt disappear Hope never dies Or goes out of fashion Someday It'll all make sense Someday It'll all make sense Thank you. So good. Man, y'all go watch that video though You got to see the video and, and, and I'm going to take a second and please tell them how that song traveled from one person to the next and it got all hooked up. It is such a cool story. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy thing. Um, 
Come to find out, Dolly Parton, her hair lady, is also Bill Anderson's hair lady. <laughs> True story. Can't, can't make it up. Can't make it up. Can't wow. make it up. And so, and so Bobby Tomberlin, he's really close friends with, with, uh, with the, the hair, hair lady. lady. The hair lady, yeah. And so uh, he played it for her, and uh, he said, I just think this would be a great, a great duet. And Bill... He said, yeah, I think this would really be a great duet. And she said, well, I know, I know just who, who to call. And so next time she was in the chair, I think she, she played it for her. That's how it happens That's in incredible. Nashville. That is so cool. So back to me. It's hard to follow that song, too. Yeah. So I wrote this song here. Um, this is another one I wrote by myself. And uh, I wrote this for my wife. Right, how long did you say you've been married? 14 years? <laughs> think so going on i think so yeah i think i'm at i'm i'm fixing to turn 25 in december Woo! so all right and uh if i had to pick a song i and my wife I, I was playing a song this morning and she said uh um who'd you write that oh the song was called use me for whatever i've played it here before but use me for whatever she said who did you write that song for and it's like <laughs> okay i don't even know how to answer that what do i say how do you answer that so, but but she's watching right now, and she. I told her I said every song I write is for you in some way or fashion. I said it says use me for whatever, so I'm telling you, you can use me for whatever. That's what it is. But this song here, it's called Speck of Sand. It's called Speck of Sand, and uh, every word of it is true. If I was not with her, I would be all of these things in this song. I still try to be them, even though I'm with her. <laughs> If I had a million dollars and I could buy most anything, everywhere I'd fly, I'd be first class, I'd have my own limousine. I could go anywhere, yeah, in a whole wide world. Mm, yeah, I could come and go, yeah, just as I please. Oh, not have a care. Yeah, but who would I be? I end up losing touch with what's left of me. I'd probably never shave for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'd live way back in the woods. Or I'd probably never come out. I know I drank too much. Probably never call home. Yeah, I'd be a vagabond by the railway side. Oh, everything I'd own, it'd fit in one bag. Oh, I'd be a speck of sand in the deep blue sea. If you hadn't loved me, yeah, all the money in the world wouldn't change a damn thing. Yeah, if you hadn't loved me, yeah, I promise this to be the truth. I'd grow out my hair. I'd get a couple of tattoos, and I'm working on that. Yeah, I'd be a vagabond. Hard by the railway side, girl, everything I'd own, yeah, it'd fit in one bag. I'd be a speck of sand mm, in the deep blue sea. Girl, if you hadn't loved me, yeah, if you hadn't loved me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Great job. We got two more songs. And man. we got a couple more. Okay. Whatever y'all yeah. want to do, okay. man. Can All right, work. this is okay. 
I'm going to play one. This is just a fun one uh, I wrote with Stephanie Lambring. Um, she had a lot of cuts on the Nashville TV show, Nashville. And um, I'd had this, this hook for a while, and, and we just kind of made something fun out of it. And, uh, yeah, I think it kind of speaks for itself. So it's called Ain't My Problem No More. You're wrinkled up, button down, flat on the floor. Chip paint, broken swing on the front porch. Ain't my problem no more. Ain't my problem no more. You're my way or the highway, never goes mine. No matter what I say or do, it ain't right, but it ain't my problem no more. Ain't my problem no more. No, I don't have to worry if you don't get home till midnight. And I won't have to worry if I do something you don't like. Every single thing that you did before ain't my problem no more. You show up late for dinner at a half past nine, but it doesn't matter when, if it's on your time, but it ain't my problem no more, ain't my problem no more. problem no more no you won't have to worry if you don't get home till midnight and I won't have to worry if I do something you don't like every single thing that we did before ain't our problem no more no, it ain't your problem no more. No, it ain't my problem no more. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Woo. Thank you so much. What you gonna do too. next? Thanks. I don't know. What should I do next? Are you gonna Are you gonna do that department store song you got? I can do that. Could you do yeah. the department store yeah. song? I love the department store song. <laughs> Does anybody like Walmart in here? <laughs> the Walmart, as we call it. The Walmart. The Walmart. <laughs> they call it the big box store where I come from. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have one of those around yeah. here? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I'll do this one then. I, I kind of love this song. This is, this is a, a song that I was, I was just walking up and down the aisles of Walmart. And I was uh, getting some diapers one day for my little girl. And I had this big, big writing appointment the next day. I just played this show, and I was going to write with Tony Lane. And this guy is one of my heroes, one of the greatest songwriters, in my opinion, uh, in country music. And so uh, I didn't really have a great idea. And uh, I was walking up and down the aisles of Walmart, and it just hit me that Life is kind of like Walmart. And uh, in a Walmart, you can buy Oreos, you can buy a goldfish, you can get your hair cut, you can get your oil changed, all of that. So, yeah. So we wrote this song. This is Walmart. Four wheels wobble through automatic doors 
greeter says, can I help you find what you're looking for? We got steel toe boots and G.I. Joes, shotgun shells and Oreos. Buy a coffee pot or a goldfish tank, a carton of milk or a can of paint. I saw an old man picking up a birthday cake. I saw a woman put some toys on layaway. I watched a girl kiss a boy on the baby aisle, and it made me smile. <laughs> And it broke my heart in a Walmart. <laughs> you can buy you a Bible and a wedding band, or frozen pizza and beer in a can. Some carts are empty, some piled high. And I'm standing with some flowers in the checkout line. I saw an old man picking up a birthday cake. I saw a woman put some toys on layaway. I watched a girl kiss a boy on the baby aisle. And it made me smile. And it broke my heart. In a Walmart. Saw an old man picking up a birthday cake. Saw a woman put some toys on layaway. Watched a girl kiss a boy on the baby aisle. And it made me smile. And it broke my heart. And that's just life. You can watch it go by. in a Walmart. Four wheels wobble through automatic doors. Greeter says, can I help you find what you're looking for? Too good, man. It's too good. I'm telling you. So, man, I usually I get close down here to the end of the night, and I start thinking about Sunday morning. And tomorrow morning, I'm not going to be at church because I'm going to be playing downtown Nashville. I'm leaving here. 9 o'clock, i got to be downtown Nashville. Then i got to be back at 7. I think Ryan's playing tomorrow night, but he's going to be at church in the morning probably. Yeah, probably. But uh, yeah, more than likely, sure. if the doors is open, he's going to be, be there. there. I'll be there. Yeah. So, uh. I kind of like taking us home a more uplifting way okay. instead of just leaving with something I wrote. But uh, me and Ryan have done gospel ship, I think, at least 1,600,772, 669 and a half times, I think. <laughs> but uh, I try to keep up with it. So we're going to take you home with some gospel songs. I don't know what Miss Janelle has planned here coming up next, but if you have, y'all going to go. So they're going to do, they do a little do anything. And uh, I'm going to sing gospel shit, if that's all right with y'all. Do it. Wherever it's at, man. And if y'all feel like singing and you know the words, just jump in. Have fun with it. So it goes, goes something like this. Well, I got good news to bring, Lord, and that is why I say all my joy with you. I'm gonna share. Y'all feel free to clap. Now I'm gonna take a trip in that good old gospel ship and go sailing through. Y'all come on, y'all know this word Say I'm gonna take a trip uh, uh, In that good old gospel ship Yeah, I'm going 
far beyond the sky mm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shout and sing Lord, until them heavens ring When I be this world goodbye It's my favorite verse right here I said I can't hardly wait I know I'll not be late I'm gonna spend all my time in prayer Oh, yeah, and oh, when my ship comes in I'm gonna leave this world of sin And go sailing through the air one more time, y'all sing with me. I'm gonna take a trip in that good old gospel ship. Well, I'm going far beyond the sky. Yeah, I'm gonna shout and sing Woo! until them heavens ring when I be. This world goodbye Yeah When I'm bid This world goodbye mm, Yeah That's for ship, y'all That's for ship Now I guess Ryan and Janelle are going What song y'all gonna sing? Let it be me What's that? Let it be me That'll be me yeah. They're gonna do a duet for y'all This is gonna yeah. be awesome so it's funny, Ryan. Oh, no, no, yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't, I don't know how to do okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Um, we were, it's funny, we were asked to sing this at a wedding. It was a very interesting experience. It's a very ex interesting wedding. And, uh, but it, something really cool came out of it, I feel like, at least for me, because I just loved singing this song with Ryan. So whenever we've done a lot of writers' rounds, we've, we've played this one or when we've done shows. We've played this one, so, um, yeah, you might recognize it. It is a cover song. It's called Let It Be Me. Take this heaven from one If you must cling to someone Now and forever Let it be me Each time we meet love I find complete love Without your sweet love Where would life be? So never leave me lonely Tell me you love me Would I be? 
That was awesome. Jamie, that, that y'all, Ryan, Jeanette, that was phenomenal. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> so goosebumps again. <laughs> I, I, I just, uh, just want to say, so 14 years, 25 years, I got 40 years under my belt, but it took four different women to get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting good now. I'm good now. I'm not, my dad said I was a slow learner. <laughs> and it's true. He also said that a man ain't got a lick of sense till after he's 35. It, it took me. I thought it was 50. Well, <laughs> it, well 55 for me. Nowadays, I think it's 50. Yeah. What y'all think of this group? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, man. Once again, Jamie, you just tore it up, brother. Thank you for no, bringing these No, it ain't folks. me, man. I just, I just picked the people. Yeah, well, people, you got a good picker. I, I've been picking for a long time. <laughs> okay. I have. Unless you want to Ever since I was a kid. Janelle, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. For pouring your heart out up here, for giving us a piece of you to take home with us tonight. Thank you so much. You do the first one since it's your song. This is yours. You do it first. Thank you feel like taking us home, man? Or do y'all feel like taking us yeah, home or something? Yeah, we do. Whatever y'all want to do. <laughs> I do, do you? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. Well, thank y'all so much for being, I'm telling you, y'all are the best audience yes. ever. And, uh, yeah. Woo. So, uh, we could go home with one everybody knows, and y'all can sing really loud. Y'all ready to do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire oh, I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down
Amen. So, Asa, we thank y'all, man. Grinder House, the crowd, love y'all. Hope y'all will come back. Before I forget it, the next grounding around the end of the month, September 24th, what we figured out earlier, That's it. That's it. me and Ryan and Ethan Phillips are going to be back, and it's all gospel. All gospel. Yeah. Gospel music for you to love. It's going to be all songs you know, but it's, it's going to be old school, so hope y'all will come join us next grounding around. Love y'all.